Sri Lanka Australia cricket friendship started some time back. But it was mostly Australia who visited Sri Lanka during the century. They used Sri Lanka as a stopover while they sailing to England during the past. But after gaining the test status, they opened the doors to Sri Lanka to travel. In 1982 to 83, Sri Lanka use Australia as a stopover location while they flying to New Zealand for few quick warm up games. After that in 1984 to 85 season, they participate as the third team in the Benson and Hedges World Series against hosts and mighty West Indians. Wait before 12 men Marlon Von Hart delighted there in the dressing room. And he smashes and he gets at least one. Goes to second a bit close, but it's a bad throw, and he's home. Excellent running by Aravind and Silva, put the pressure on Bennett. It wasn't. Charge, he's got a top edge as a man down there, it's Rawson, he's a goer, can he get to it? It's six, what a way to win a match, a top edge for six. Aravind and Silva, the hero, trying to hook. McDermott down the ground, he's got a top edge and a flu all the way, the 70 metres to the final leg boundary. The static dressing room. Sri Lanka win their first bets to hit this World Series Cup match in a good performance by four wickets. Again in 1987 to 88 season, they participate in the Benson and Hedges World Series with Australia and New Zealand. That time they were offered a test match as well. well we better have another look. Oh, shot! Six shot of the match. He loves to play the full shot. We saw him do it in Adelaide. So I think it's one of the best shots of the season. That also was a beauty. This crowd here at Bell Reeve have really taken the Sri Lankans to heart. And they're getting more and more excited with every shot. That was an absolutely brilliant shot. I reckon they're going to go berserk if Sri Lanka win this game. This fourth tour is the most challenging and lengthiest of one from Sri Lankan perspective. In the series Sri Lanka was given two test matches, eight one-day internationals to play with Australia and Pakistan, seven first-class games and ten first-class one-day games. Series starts at Canberra, playing with New South Wales. Then against Victoria at Sale, followed by South Australia at Adelaide. Then first test starts at Brisbane and then second test at Hobart. After that two one-day games with Victoria and Victoria Country. Then the Benson and Hedges World Series starts. Sri Lanka will play against Australia at Melbourne and Perth, followed by their first game against Pakistan to seal the 1980s decade. After that they play with Australia at Melbourne on January 4th. Since Pakistan starting their test season with Australia, Team Sri Lanka will play some first-class games during this period. Starting with Tasmania, Australia Cricket Academy. Then again, a one-day match with South Australia Country 11. After that three-day game with Australia Country 11. Soon after that, two one-day games played with New South Wales and New South Wales Country 11. Then it will be the last two innings warm-up with Queensland, followed by two one-day games with Queensland and Queensland Country 11. Then the last three practice one-day games with Western Australia twice and Western Australia Country 11. Second round of Benson and Hedges World Series starts then. Sri Lanka will play three games with Pakistan at Brisbane, Sydney, and Adelaide, followed by their eighth game against Australia at Adelaide. If they advance to the final round, best of three starts on February 23rd onwards. Before this series, Sri Lanka played with Australia, England, India, Pakistan, and West Indies at India in the Nehru Trophy. Almost all the match went into a wire. But Sri Lanka managed to win only one game, that two against West Indies, which is their first ever win against the opponent. Aravinda da Silva looks fantastic in the series and he scored 280 runs with 350s. He ranked number three top scorer, after Haynes and Richardson. In the bowling department both Labrui and Wajgun award and pick six wickets each. In between these two series, Sri Lankan selectors draw three players, they are, Brendan Kurapio, Don Anuraziri and Lolita Mana Fernando. Sri Lankan selectors choose 18-man squad for this lengthy series. This squad includes three opening batsmen. Roshan Mahanama played four test matches already and Athula Samaraskara played just one game. Dammakarane Tunga, Sri Lankan skipper's elder brother never played a test or one-day international for the country yet. 
Arjuna ran a Tunga leading team for the first time into a test match and he already played 24 test matches till date. His star player, Aravinda played 15 test matches, 7 test matches to left-hander Asunka Guru Sinha. Hashan and Sanath not played a test match yet. But Hashan played 14 one-day internationals so far. But, Sanath is a totally debutant. Sri Lankan fast bowling department consists of 6 medium pace men. Ravi Ratnayak played 20 games till date and he is the most experienced Sri Lankan bowler. Other than his bowling, he nominated as the team wise captain. Ravi's partner Ramesh played 14 games. 3 games to Labrui and 2 to Shampaker Ramanayak. Kapila Wajgunawardane not played any test and he played 10 one day internationals till today. Also, they have new face, Nilantha Ratnayak in the squad. In addition to Sri Lankan bowling department, they brought three spinners. Ashoka Da Silva played five test matches. Ranjith played a single game and other new spinner, Ruwan Kalpage not played any format for Sri Lanka yet. Sri Lanka having two steady substitute wicket keepers, Asunka and Hashan. So they thought to go with fresh face as the keeper. Gamini Wicker amazing he not played any international format game. So, this will be a good opportunity for him. So the tour begins with a four-day match between Sri Lanka and New South Volsa at Canberra from November 17th till 20th Sri Lankan team leads by Arjuna Ranatunga, followed by Dammaka Ranatunga, Athula Samara Sakara, Asunka Guru Sinha, Aravinda Da Silva, Gamini Wickramazing He, Hashan Tilakaratni, Sanath Jayasariya, Ravi Ratnayak, Ranjith Madurazing He and Graham Labrui. New South Wales having strong lineup under the captaincy of Jeff Lawson. In addition to him, they have players like, Mark Taylor, Wa Brothers, Peter Taylor, Greg Matthews and Mike Whitney. Sri Lanka won the toss and they decided to ball first. New South Wales scored solid 423 for 7 in 112 overs. Five players cross 50 runs mark. Mark Taylor scored 53. Trevor Bayliss was the highest run getter with 89. Steve Waugh with 57. Mark O'Neill scored 65. And finally Greg Matthews scored not out 52. With ball Sri Lankan opening bowler Graham Labrui took the first 5 wicket spell of the series by taking 5 wickets for 141 runs. In reply, both Sri Lankan openers put up a solid partnership of 159 for the first wickets. Dammaka Ranatunga scored 56 runs and Athula Samaraiskara scored the first century of the tour and he ended up scoring 133 runs. But Sri Lankan batting collapse for 268 runs after that giant partnership. Among remain 9 batsmen, only 2 scored beyond double figures. They are Ravinda 30 and young Sanath 27. Sri Lankan innings ended in 111.3 overs. Left armor Mike Whitney took 3 for 54, Mark Waugh took 2 for 7 and skipper Lawson took 2 for 39. New South Wales starts their second innings with 155 runs advantage. They decided to bat only 22 overs and scored 82 runs for 2 wickets. Small scored 36 not out, Taylor scored 28 and Steve Waugh with 11 not out. Sri Lankan skipper Arjuna bowled 7 overs and took 2 wickets for 17 runs. Sri Lanka was given a target of 238. But, Whitney draw the first blood by removing both openers for ducks this time. Sooner Aravinda goes for 2 and Hashan for 5, leaving Sri Lanka in a series situation of 4 for 14. Asunka start guarding Sri Lankan innings with the help of the rest and he scored much needed 45. Arjuna scored 18 and Ravi scored 12. Yet, Sanath scored 27 not out again to save Sri Lanka from a defeat. Close of play Sri Lanka were 7 for 119 in 40 overs. Whitney again took 3 wickets for 21 runs and Peter Taylor took 2 for 28. Match ended up with a draw. Second four-day game starts at sale with Victoria on November 24. Sri Lankan pace man Graham Labrui ruled out due to injury in the previous game. Along with him selectors rested Athula Samaraiskara, Hashan Thilakarathna and Ranjith Madurasinga. And they called Roshan Mahanama, Ashoka Da Silva, Ramesh Rathnaka and Kapila Wajgunawardena to playing 11. Victoria was lead by an all-rounder Simon O'Donnell. They have experienced players like Wayne Phillips, James Siddons, and emerging players like Paul Riafel and Damian Fleming. Victoria won the toss and they decided to bat first. Both Victorian openers went to the pavilion when the scorer were at 7 thanks to Ravi Rathnayek. After that, rest of the players found runs all over the ground. 
Phillips and Siddons built 203 for the third wicket. Altogether three Victorians scored centuries, Wayne Phillips 134, Simon O'Donnell 121 and Jamie Siddons 113. In addition to that Damian Fleming scored 63 not out. Ravi and Ramesh took two wickets and Sanath, Arjuna took a wicket each. Finally, after losing only six wickets, Victoria scored a mammoth 507 in 129 overs. Both Sri Lankan openers gone for ducks again like in New South Wales game. But they were able to fight back and four players cross 50 runs mark. Skipper Arjuna led from front by scoring 75. Ravi Ratnayak scored 65 not out. Asunka with 55 and Aravinda with 54. Young Sanath contributes with 31, but HE was run out unfortunately. In addition to his 50, Damon Fleming took 4 wickets for 74. In 106.3 overs, Sri Lanka were all out for 318. Due to the gap of 189 runs, Sri Lanka were asked to following on. They not bat sharp like in the first innings and even the wicket starts spinning. To make things even worse, they lost their captain's contribution with the bat due to his injury. So, Sri Lanka bowled out for 186 in 110.1 overs this time. Damnika scored 46, the highest score of the innings, followed by Sanatha's 34, Ravi's 26, and Aravinda's 22. Second innings was dominated by spinners, McIntyre took 4 for 56 and Jackson took 2 for 59. That gives innings and 3 runs victory to Victoria team. Third warm-up 4-day game before the big test. The match is scheduled to play at Adelaide Oval with South Australia from December 1st till 4th South Australian team was led by former Australian national player David Hooks. Along with him, they have some experienced Australian national players like Andrew Hilditch, Glenn Bishop, Peter Sleep, Andrew Zezers. Also, they have some rising stars like Colin Miller and Darren Lehman. On the other hand, due to the injury Sri Lankan skipper Arjuna rested from this game. Ravi Ratnayak will be the acting captain for this game. Along with Arjuna, selectors rested Gamini Wickramazinghe, Ramesh Ratnayak, and Kapila Wajgunawarden. Athula Samarasakara was called for Arjuna's slot. Hashan was appointed as the wicket keeper. And two pacemen, Green Labrui and Champaka Ramanaye, call for the side. South Australian skipper David Hooks won the toss and he invited Sri Lanka to bat first. In the first innings, Sri Lanka batted 108 overs and they scored 274 runs losing 5 wickets. Both openers were at pavilion when the scores at 31. Roshan was 10 and Dammix was 8. Asunka played a slow and steady innings of 109. That was the second Sri Lankan century in the tour for Sri Lankan batting department. Aravinda scored 54, and built 124 runs for the third wicket with Asunka. Athula scored 26, and run out, just like Asunka in the innings. Hasna is not out 23 and Sanatha's quick 37 helped to build unbeaten 54 for the sixth wicket before they declare the innings. Colin Miller took 2 for 49. South Australia came strong in their innings. Glenn Bishop scored 156 and Lehman scored 109. Skipper Hooks scored 50. Nopes scored 45 and Miller with 34 helped South Australia to climb to 472 for 8 in 122.1 overs. Labrui took 3 for 116 and Ashoka Da Silva took 3 for 121. With 198 runs behind, Sri Lanka start their second innings. But during the available time period, they managed to score just 88 runs in 36 overs. Roshan Mahanama found the grip and he scored 56 not out, his first 50 in the series. Dammika goes for duck again. Aravinda run out for 9. Both Athula and Asunka scored 10 each. Miller again took 2 wickets, this time for 30 runs. With those figures, match ended up in draw. That concludes the first round of practice. Now it is time to play the big first test. Overall, Sri Lanka's second ever test in kangaroo soil. Match was scheduled to play at Brisbane from December 8th. With that game official Australian Summer Cricket Festival started. Let's see what has happened in the game in our existing next 